What's going on YouTube? It's JB back with another Mini Z video. So as you can tell, I've got something a little different on the table today. I've got a Mario Kart Mini Z. So basically, I wanted to actually build a Mini Z go kart, and they have a body in China that they've designed specifically to fit the Mini Zs. But I couldn't get my hands on one. They don't sell them online. You have to find somebody to buy one and ship it over to you. And it sounds like they're actually out of them now. But I'm going to keep my eye out for them. If anybody knows how to get a hold of one, let me know. But when I couldn't get one of those, what I decided to do was see if there was a Mario Kart that was about the same scale as a Mini Z that I could actually fit on a Mini Z body and kind of mount it on there. Not as clean as a, a something purposely built for the Mini Z, but this is the next best thing. I found a blog post from a kid in Japan who had done this back in 2014 I believe and I think Kyoshin had also done one up in Canada but I decided to do it myself did a little research I actually found the toy RC car on Amazon for like $20 had it shipped to my house in two days and started cutting it apart so I started dissecting that that car and this is what I came up with on how to mount it so what I did for the front end what I did is I took a body clip from uh, I think my first auto scale which was a Lexus I took it and I decided to mount the front end of this the Mario Kart toy on that body clip so essentially I'd like to, I want to be able to take this off I don't want it to be a novelty um, I want to be able to run it but I also want to be able to peel it off if I need to uh, and put my 90 millimeter car back on the track on top on the Mario I essentially cut him off of there I left the pedals on here the steering wheel basically what I did is I came down I drilled a couple holes on the, the Mario, came down and went into the existing holes that are on the top of the, the uh, top of the car. So I did that, so he can be taken off there real easy. It's not as clean as I would like. I'm probably going to get Chris from Bye Bye Racing to hook me up with something to where I can mount him on there uh, and make it a little cleaner. But for right now, it's working. He's not coming off. He's not going anywhere. Uh, in some test runs, I flipped him over, and he stays put. So uh, no issues there. I also used that resin to... Uh, essentially mount these side pieces onto the existing battery clips so I wanted it all to be functional so these flip up and down same as they do any other time you can actually peel these off it does get hung up underneath uh, the seat a little bit but they clip on clip off you got plenty of room to flip them up and put the batteries in no problem and it works out pretty well and they're actually low enough to the ground um, where they don't really rub, but they uh, they stay up high enough, but low enough to make it look like an actual Mario Kart. And then on the back end, the little motor and the pipes, you got to have tailpipes on this thing. There was a screw mounted in the original RC car, so there's a place to put a screw up through and into. So basically I ground that out a little bit, I cut it down to where it would fit on here kind of flush, and it fits on my PN 90mm uh, motor mount pretty easily. And you can see everything works as it did prior to mounting the Mario stuff on here. Uh, everything works exactly how it did before. The only thing I did do was I took the 9500 KV out just a little too much for this and um, I didn't want Mario popping wheelies so I pulled that 9500 KV out and I put the 3500 KV in there so it'll be a little easier to drive uh, a little more under control but overall that's what I did guys. Again it's nothing original um, but I did I did put it all together and tied it out on the track. I've also got a Luigi version of this coming in uh, so I can actually switch them in and out and I can run a Mario or a Luigi. I know Mr. Gary also built one over Remnant so he's got Mario and I can switch this one out to Luigi so we can have Mario and Luigi out on the track at the same time so that's kind of cool. Something a little different guys. I'm going to do some uh, track time with it. As you can see behind me We've got the Evo. That video will be coming up soon. I did bump into a couple issues with it, um, but it sounds like we're going to get that taken care of, and I'll have that video coming out as soon as I can uh, to review the Evo, and I don't know that I'm going to do an unboxing with it, but I do want to do a little review on it and show you guys what it's all about because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So anyway, that's what I got going on, guys. A little Mario Kart Mini Z. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time. Thanks.